Kaleki Stage 2 and welcome to your art lesson. We're looking at observational drawings linked to Hogwarts creatures. Now there's lots of different images online on your home learning page and in your paper packs. So choose one of the characters that you'd like to have a go at and follow these steps to help you. I'm having a go at Aragog the Acromantula. And the method that I've chosen to use is working outwards from a key feature. So I'm starting with his eyes and then I'm going to keep working my way out from that picture until I get to this one that I made earlier. So, I'm trying to angle my camera down ever so slightly so you can see what I'm drawing. Okay, so I've got to start with his eyes. So they're quite close together, the acromantula's eyes. So I'm going to draw my outlines. And make sure I'm happy with the shape of them. It's a bit of light glistening on them, so I'll just block that in now. And perhaps make that a little bit wider there. Now. I'm going to add this curve shape that is underneath the eyes coming out from it. To the sides. And I'm going to add this fan shape coming up now from the eyes because I always work my way up and outwards from the key feature as I go. So, we'll just add a little bit of detail there. And just above it, I've got the flat part here coming round, down, and out. Again, coming down and out. Now, before I move on, I'm going to make the acromantula's eyes darker. We don't need to worry about detail too much today because that's what we're going to be doing on Monday, is adding detail to these same pictures of our Hogwarts creatures that we are doing the outlines for today. However, my acromantula is going to come to life with his piercing eyes once I colour them in. So it's going to mean that everything else I draw is really going to stand out from the page and look far more like Aragog than if I left his eyes blank at the moment. So I'm just going to colour that in. You might notice that I'm using pen to draw with. I'm using pen so you can see it better on the camera, but I'm also using it because you can sketch with pen or pencil. So it is your choice, but if you sketch with pen and you make a mistake, you can't get rid of it. <laughs> so you might want to stick to pencil while you're getting your confidence. Personally, I like using a pen because you can't get rid of it and you have to commit to what you're drawing. But you need to make that decision. But please, no pastels or paints because we're focused on our observational skills. So I've coloured in his eyes. There they are. I'm now going to go back to my picture, working my way out and add these dots underneath. So I've got them coming down. I'm going to go back to my picture and I've got like a curved shape coming around here. Coming out from the sides, I've got the hair of the cheeks of the spider coming round. And then again on the other side, I'm just going to turn it to make so I can make sure the angles match up and it's facing where I'm sat. There we go. And so go back to my picture. I started with the key feature of the eyes. I built my way out to the top of the head and the dots. I'm building my way out again, so the next part I need to draw is this dark part here. So, I'm going to add that shape in. And because that part is so dark on there, I am going to add 
that part of the shading now. But again, all the fur, all the details, these lights and darks of the legs, of the hair. Don't worry about that now. That's what we're going to look at on Monday, okay? Let's just focus on getting our proportions correct so we don't have really long legs where they should be shorter. We don't have eyes that are bigger than legs. We're really trying to focus on those proportions. So, keep working my way out. I'm moving on to the fangs now. So, they kind of come down in this shape. And I've got to add this bit of a triangle shape into it. And again on the other side. And the bit of the triangle shape. So I'm going to go back to my picture and I'm going to keep working my way out from this picture. So I've done the eyes, I've moved on to the head, the wider part, down to the fangs, and I'm going to do these two parts coming down now. And these two parts are a bit like ant legs actually, how you would draw those in the different sections coming down. And again on the other side. And remember, we're not worrying about any of that detail. We're going to add all of that later. So keep working my way out. So now I need to go back up to the top and add this part. And it curves around to just by the eye. So I'm going to do the same on my picture. And again, just down to where it joins again. I'm going to repeat it on the other side, always looking back at this picture. So it comes down a bit higher on this side, halfway up the cheek and down. I'm going to add this leg going up now because I keep working my way out. Remember, always going back. I'm going to go up and across. Take the leg up on the other side and across. I'm going to do these double legs now. They're coming out from the same point on the picture and across. On the other side. And remember, I'm looking at proportion. This second leg is slightly wider at the top, so I'm going to pull it out slightly bigger when I get there, and down. And then, from down here, I've got the other leg coming up, which is much wider than the ones at the top, because proportionately it's as if it's near the front of the picture, and I've got the other leg coming out. Then I need to repeat that on the other side, Add the sky, add the ground, and then I'll have my finished acromantula, which will look like this one here, which I did earlier. So, have a go. Send us in all your pictures of your awesome pictures of different batalis, acromantulas, phoenix. Send them in to us. Let us have a look. Remember, we're not worrying about all the detail. We're going to come back to these exact pictures on Monday and have a look at adding all those textures. I cannot wait to see what you come up with.